What's going on guys, it's Greg Mikos Dyes, and today we have, I'm not gonna call it a review, we generally don't review other companies' mesh, and there's really not that much mesh that comes out, but I thought the new ISA warp mesh from Warrior was really unique and interesting. We've covered all the warp products, and so I thought this would be a good follow-up to at least give you guys an unboxing, string it up, and a little bit of info. Um, I've never played with it, it's still in the box, it came with my package of burns and evos and all that good stuff, so some history for you. The warp came out a couple years ago, um, we did some reviews on it, and the idea was this new type of knitting, but also stitched directly into a head. And so I don't think the type of knitting was what the people had issue with, I think it was the directly stitching it into the head. They've really pulled back from this concept and aren't focusing on it quite as much anymore. Um, this is just an example of what some of the pros had. You're not seeing much presence in the pros or um, on the field. And maybe at the beginner level, I think it did catch on a little bit. So that's, um, they're not doing too much of that at the high end. What they've switched to, is a mesh. So this is a loose piece knitted the same way as that. Um, it's a lot different looking and feeling from a normal piece of mesh. It's 30 bucks. Um, and so there it is. The first notable difference is it doesn't come, you know, you get a, an ECD mesh or a shrinking mesh, it comes tight and you stretch it out yourself. This comes already kind of stretched out and wide. And you can see it's got some different diamonds. We'll dive into that in a second. <clears throat> They say it's got consistency, it's customizable, minimal break-in, weather resistance, beer hold, smooth release, a lot of the same stuff that um, we talk about in mesh. So the big idea here is, uh, number one, this new type of knitting is gonna give you the, this different diamond size in the middle of the pocket. So it's got, I mean, these aren't standard looking diamonds. They're a little smaller. The knitting, uh, you know, the yarns are much thinner, so it's got a different feel. It's soft and a little bit slippery. Um, and doesn't have quite as much texture as normal mesh, but I think on the front they've got like little dots knitted in that does give you the feel of a little bit of texture. So it goes from sort of standard diamonds, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across, so it's an eight by seven rather than a 10 by nine that you would see with the standard hero line. Um, but it does go pretty far across, so I don't think that width is gonna be an issue because they stretch a little bit wider, even though there's only eight diamonds. So it moves down from what you can consider kind of a standard diamond into it hits uh, this spot of really big, like six diamond sized diamonds, and then transitions back. So this is a little bit like what we released many years ago, Vortex, where it had all standard diamonds at the top and down the side, and in what we call the sweet spot, the, um, the middle of the pocket, it went to these big diamonds that went all the way to the bottom to allow it to have a little bit of hold and have that transition. So um, this kind of stuff has been done before. There's been other companies, not just us, that have done this kind of diamond transition technology, but this is certainly a different type of knitting. So what, you know, it'll string up relatively normal. I'll string it here in a second, but I think part of the idea is that you can move the spot up and down based on where you start your pocket. So let's, if you want it to be a lower pocket, you would probably string it in sort of with a normal top string and it would end up somewhere down here. If you wanna move it up in the pocket, you might fold a couple extra rows over. That's a little ugly. Maybe you cut that and burn it, but that would then put that spot higher in the pocket. So I think that's what they mean by customizable is that it allows you to move this large diamond area throughout the pocket. And so what I'm basically gonna do is gonna hold the ball a little bit more in that sweet spot before it releases, give you a little better feel. It's very soft, um, it's extremely pliable. You can see it doesn't have a lot of structure to it, so it's probably gonna move a lot with the ball. Um, and the knitting's interesting. There's a lot of spots that look kind of loose, like there's very few strands holding some of these together. They do say it's low maintenance and some of the most consistent, but you can see these on the outside are really starting to stretch. So I'm gonna string it up in this pocket and then we'll see how it looks. And we're back, I've got it strung up in a Signature Blue Mirage 2. This is my first try right out of the box. Uh, you definitely can't translate an exact pattern. I think as a standard rule of thumb with regular mesh, I use 10 diamonds down the side. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, so they don't stretch out quite like normal diamonds. It was a little tight across the top. Um, but basically I, I moved you know down a couple rows so I get this sweet spot right in the middle of the pocket. Got those big diamonds. Uh, I think the channel I could get a little tighter once I broke it in, it loosened it up more than how I strung it. It's a little deep, I think, with a ball in it so I can either take the bottom string in a little bit or take one of these diamonds out. But um, overall, a couple tries and you could probably be at a pocket that would string pretty well with it. It's super soft, like I said. 
Um, so very free flowing with the ball. It's gonna drift low for sure, give you a nice low pocket. And the release feels like it's gonna be relatively smooth. Um, so that's how it's strung up. That's a little bit of basic info. Uh, if you guys want me to do a shooting demo with it, I'd love to try it out. Leave a comment, leave a like, let me know. Uh, maybe next week or after the holiday, we'll come back with a shooting demo. So I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of info so you can make an informed decision, see if you want to buy a piece and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.